Hello and welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and in today's video I will like talk about this particular type of monstera plant known as monstera adunsoniae, commonly known as cheese leaf plant and I would like to share and talk a little bit more on their planting growth and details concerning this particular type of aroid plant. Based on my experience, I do find that this monstera seems to be a little bit slow growing in comparison to other climbing plants such as Porthos and Philodendron. However, however, also when it comes to monstera species, they are slow growing. And one of the things that I would really like to share uh, based on my experience and my opinion is that I find that when a monstera leaf is actually being tied on a totem pole, they seem to grow much more better and the leaves seems to become more bigger and beautiful so you know in a way i find that growing monstera especially in this kind of tight conditions i find that growing them on a totem pole seems to make them more hardy in comparison to the ones that is actually grown on just a basic potted plants as such as this. Another factor here is that these are actually sold in a local nursery here in Sungai Buru and I find that they're actually using a regular potting mix uh, mixed with soil for their potting medium and I find that this seems to do fair well in this kind of situation. However, I also find that if they start to rot the whole pot can just disintegrate so this is one of the things that is very important when it comes to monstera that the soil mix the potting medium should be fast draining and should not sit in uh, water for a very long time uh, due to the rot factor that can take place as these are not as hardy as other types of aeroids I believe when it comes to monstera they are actually climbers over here you can actually see the stem here which is having a kind of aerial roots along the stem and what I believe here is that you may able to grow them as creeping plant or even make it uh, flat on the ground but once they start to grow on a totem pole or something to climb about you can actually see and the difference where the leaves may have changed their uh, fenestration where you can actually see more holes and more features appearing on the leaf body or texture so these are the things that i've noticed that when it comes to adosonii the monstera in that this that when they are start to climb their features and the and the appearance ap appears to be much more healthy and beautiful so i would really recommend and encourage uh, the grower and the gardeners to actually find these uh, plant to be able to climb on certain uh, elements where even if you don't have a totem pole you can actually use against a wall or something like that just to give them these beautiful features that they can actually showcase to you far more grander in appearance just to give a little bit of a description concerning the totem pole here you can actually see the coconut fibers been en enrolled and enveloped against a pipe or a stick and letting this stem to be climbed upon the plant and then can also notice that at least about five to six cuttings that has been placed and it will be tied upon against the totem pole now i can't help but to notice there are some yellow tones that is appearing on the leaves i'm not sure whether those are actually variegation or it could be some burns that is appearing because of too much of bright light is uh, against the leaf structure but however i believe that these are the small unique abnormalities that is always identified as variance or variation and it can be a separate species than a common one which is fully green i really can't make sure and i also noticed there are so many uh, variations that has been slowly been identified and also been uh, sold as rare plants in the current market today this is currently my collection that i am actually cultivating in my garden space and you can actually see See that all of my monstera adosonia is actually fastened on something to grow upon and this is very much my experimental work and also you can see that i have also placed in 
different types of trailing plants on them and they just want to show to you what is actually growing <laughs> in the variations of everything now coming to this particular one if you have noticed a very much earlier a video that i posted where i've actually propagated monstera adusonia in water propagation so this is a plant actually and i've actually used a stick uh, where it's rolled up with the coconut husk and actually it's doing fine so none of the cuttings has died and all of it is doing fine this particular one is neon photos I've actually incorporated both of them together and you can actually see that they are actually giving a kind of uh, visual effect where it is sort of like a background and there is a contrast between a dark leaf and and lighter tone leaf and i find that that is quite interesting for me especially when it comes to tight space gardening and my area and my garden space is that i'm really lacking space and by doing a combo plant it actually really helps a lot in my gardening style the next one is very much experimental i actually use a wooden stick on it and i find that it is far more successful than a totem pole which is the normal traditional coconut coir fibers and you can actually see and notice over here that the roots that comes out from the stem are actually strongly attached against the wooden piece and this is sort of like interesting because this wooden piece is not moist all the time and i find that it it appears to be that the leaves have really uh, established itself and i can see also that i have actually tied in three different smaller pots on it to give that kind of effect and that is actually uh, enjoy photos which i uh, just recently got a cutting and i just want to see how it goes well with a combination of few trailing plants growing together in this kind of condition do take note that these are actually very slow growing plant and i just really not sure how fast they actually can grow this is another piece uh, i actually tied in coconut chips on stick on it to see how this particular one fares uh, not so successful in a way to say that the growth is not doing very fast growing or it doesn't appear to be very healthy looking but anyway the top crown seems to be happy uh, do take note that somewhere in between as time goes by uh, the bottom part of it actually has rotten away so the whole plant is very much aerial just sticking out on the coconut uh, chips uh, the portion that is touching to the ground is actually rotten away and i tried to trim that off so this is a uh, of another piece that i want to show to you this is monstera dubaya i've actually recently gotten it about a month ago in quite a very good price actually got it for eight ringgit uh, it's a three leaf plant one leaf actually dried out but it's actually a cutting so i'm just experimenting on it by using a uh, coconut husk tied on a styrofoam and i find styrofoam seems to do very well in a way to aerate the roots uh, but now it's actually about a month months old and it is quite stable so i am very concerned about this particular plant because uh, it can rot if it's too much water retained on it and this is florida green this is the the main pot that has been grown upon and i just tied and you can see that it's a little bit of everything there so i'm just as i said it's very much experimental and i just want to see the neon photos that was there if you can notice a very small green piece there it was doing fine i think one of the rodents come and bit it off and then it's just regenerating back so this is the the collection of my monstera adosoniae in my garden space i used to have a lot of these and i've taken for granted and in a way that when i don't really pay attention to it a lot of it actually died or rotting away so this is one of the things that when it comes to plants as such as this they do need care and you may have to watch on them time to time to make sure that if they are dying you don't really able to see that on their stem but however once they are established and growing fun you can see that their features are quite interesting 
Just a few factors about Monstera. This particular Monstera is that if you were to find that anything seems to start to rot, it appears to be a lot of leaves actually turning yellow, do look into it immediately as what I can suggest to you is to remove the whole plant off from the potting media, wash them thoroughly under tap water and all that and trim off the one that is turning yellow uh, if the you can if you can salvage some of it that is half yellow then just trim off the one that is yellow and after washing put it back in water propagation in my earlier video that i've actually shown you can just check it through uh, i also will put it in the description box just for you to refer it back and let it uh, grow new roots in a way to say that it's established itself then plant it back in the potting media this will actually help another factor that I want to mention to you is that potting media is very important in the sense that it should not be soaking wet neither it should be bone dry it should be in a way or how do you say a moist in between that if if he can the best would be like uh, to water it you know in a way that it is just nice that it's not like drowning in water kind of thing neither is bone dry like desert because these are the two factors that i've noticed that in the when it comes to extremes they, they when they are not happy they tend to die and and the other factor is that if the growth is appears to be very leggy and uh, how do you say not healthy appearing the plant will die so this is what the experiences that I actually face when it comes to a monstera species so do take note on this factor that what has been said about a lot of factors about humidity and uh, air movement and space for them to grow uh, overwatering all this really takes a lot of uh, consideration when it comes to monstera photos however if you were to notice you can actually abuse it you can in fact even philodendron this too seems to be a very hardy plant that can actually weather the storm but however when it comes to monstera they fall into a, another level of a category where it falls to be uh, another sensitive plants type of plant so do take note about it but again uh, comparison to all the monstera monstera adosonea seems to be the most hardiest one that i've uh, come across in my garden experience i've now come to the end of my video if you have any questions and queries please do put in the comment below and i'll be truly obliged myself in giving all the answers based on my experience and my opinion also do put in your information of where you're actually from as that will actually give me a pleasure to know where are you uh, cultivating these plants in your garden space also i would truly appreciate if you can click like subscribe and support my channel as i will truly looking forward to see you and your thoughts on monstera adusoniae plants in your garden take care and have a nice day bye